What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp, and welcome to the special, what, afternoon, pre-afternoon edition of TSR Live, your daily dose of red pill truth, wisdom, and awareness. Today's episode, or today's half episode, rather, is brought to you by MLD's Body Language Mastery Course. Um, MLD's Body Language Mastery Course is quite literally the difference between success and failure within the context of the sexual marketplace. And it's worth noting that <clears throat> the reason why you guys, you guys, obviously you guys watch my breakdowns. You guys see what I do um, on a regular basis. And the reason why I'm able to so accurately, you know, read the situation and to see it for what it is, is because I have the ability to read a woman's body language. And oh, by the way, w when's the first time you came out with this body language course, um, MLD? It came out first time uh, last year okay. on February 28th. That okay. Was the first day. Perfect. Okay. February 28th. I bought the body language where you gave me the body language mastery course. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. That was right around the time I started breaking stuff down. Now, I was able to break stuff down, I guess. I don't know. I was able to do an okay job. I had a little bit of success with it. But I needed I needed a little extra push. I needed a little extra something to sort of take things to sort of to uh, to sort of take things to the next level. And as soon as I got through your body language mastery course, that's when things absolutely positively took off. So yes, I worked hard to get where I'm at. But I got to tell you, MLD, your body language mastery course sort of helped me put the icing on the cake. And now we are where we are. Yeah, thanks, man. I mean, last year I, I wasn't planning to really do it again this year. But last year, I had 532 people sign up throughout the entire year. Wow. Wow. And the community that we've built, like, it, it, you know, the initial levels are just like, you know, you get into the course and you you understand, holy God, like this body language thing is real. Crazy. And it helps out with under like it, it helps demystifying the whole love and emotions yeah. and female mystique if you will it really adds a very sobering concrete algorithm to seduction if you will and once you like figure this stuff out man you know you see it everywhere like you girls can't lie to you anymore nope. the car dealerships can't screw you over like you know there are so many different applications for this and i mean what happened last year I thought everybody knew this stuff. I didn't know there was going to be such a huge outpour of people. MLD, do you remember? Do you remember the moment you and I were on the air when we kind of looked at each other and said, wait a minute, guys don't know this stuff. Like, I remember it was you and me on the air. We're like, wait a minute. like, And it was a phone call. And somebody said something about something I can't remember exactly. But I remember you explained it to him. And I was like, yep, that's about it. And the guy seemed kind of confused. And you and I were like, dude, what is happening? And that that from that humble beginning that was the genesis of body language mastery yeah i mean that was like in uh quarter four of 2018 like yeah. I, I, I was so blown away you know i didn't know everybody didn't know this stuff but once i found out that everybody was like you know so hungry to figure out all this information yeah. yes i mean i made the course and at the time i only had like 800 subscribers on my youtube channel yeah but from there i blew up now i have thousands and thousands of subscribers and and then th there's another okay. one right there yep. and and um you know the the thirst for this data was just for me so mind-boggling because i don't have like the typical red pill story that like i was a virgin and then like i fell in love with this one true girl I've always kind of been a, like, you know, kind of like a, I was a little church degenerate, you know, like making out with girls in the choir room. And, uh, you know, you know, when, when they turned off the lights in the in the in the main sanctuary, I would go in the in the pews and make out with the girls in the dark. And so, you know, I didn't I just kind of had slowly been rid pilled throughout my entire life. And as I got older, kind of got more mature, I was able to put a system to these things and just knowing that everybody was really like holy god this stuff is so like amazing i decided fuck it you know I'll, I'll put a course together i'll hire a model and um i'll make her do the gestures and i'll see what happens and i thought that you know uh, it would make like you know it was like ten thousand dollars but 
It made uh, a well, lot more than that. You don't have to get it. You don't. You, you don't. <laughs> But the, the number was uh, the number was substantial. I'll just yes. put it to you that way. Mm -hmm. um, before we start playing the the clips, we have five modules that we're going to show you guys, and both MLD and I were going to be breaking these down uh, because, of course, he is the he he is absolutely the body language master. Like I said, for those of you guys just joining us, the reason why one of the one of the many reasons why I'm able to so accurately dissect women, what they do, what they say, et cetera, et cetera is because of body language mastery. Yes, I'm Donovan Sharp and I have all this experience, but nobody knows everything. We can all, there's always room for improvement in some way, shape or form. And when I got my hands on body language mastery, man, that was that was really sort of the, that was really sort of the, uh, th that, that was the fine tuning that I needed uh, to really take this thing, take this thing to, to the next level. And here, I mean, and so far so good, man. Uh, mm -hmm. Colonel Sanders with the $2 Super Chat says, how long, how long until the sign-up ends for quarter one? So on March 30th at midnight, it's going to be game over. Because I only do five days at a time. Because when you guys get this course, you're not just getting a course and I just pat you on your back and say, good job, now you're an alpha male. Right. Okay? Starting April 1st, due to everybody being locked down to the certain beer bug, we are going to be doing live Q&A webinars every single day for three weeks, okay? Wow. We're going to be doing these for three weeks, and you'll also have access to the previous webinars that I did last year. So not only do you get access to the entire database where we can, you know, we can speak freely, because yesterday, if you guys know, Donovan Sharp, his channel got shut down here because of the YouTube censorship. Oh, yeah, but right. Behind the scenes with my stuff, there are no censors. There are no... Uh, there are no limits, nothing. We we talk freely. We talk like men. It is men only. And we have a community of over, like I said, in, in the webinar community, we have over 337 people who have joined and participated. During quarter uh, four, we had up to 140 people live in the webinars at once. Yep. And you get to meet all the greats, like, you know, Donovan Sharp, yep. all the guys, and... Um, not only that, you get access to the men's only Facebook group. The value is just is like staggering there. And to top it all off in closing, you get access to the webinars for quarter one and quarter two and quarter three and quarter four. So you get 12 weeks of total daily coaching with me that all gets recorded for you to go back and refer to as well. Very good. One more question here. This is by Kier Patrick. I hope I'm pronouncing this correct. Uh, correctly he says, what's the average age of people here? Because I'm only 16. Um, listen, man, I don't really know what the average age is. My guess is that it's probably between, I don't know, maybe 18 and maybe 70. Um, I mean, MLD, I know that you have you have men, subscribers, uh, mm -hmm. people of all ages. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, dude, I had a guy send me an email. He's 71 years old. I get emails from 14-year-old dudes asking me, hey, Donovan, like, how do I get started in game? And I'm telling them, I have to tell them, listen, man, wait till you start getting the short and curlies before you have to start worrying about game. So yeah. this kind of like this kind of content, it transcends, dude, it transcends age, it transcends race, it transcends everybody. So if you guys would uh, answer Keir Patrick's question, just do me a quick favor, put your age in the chat, put your age in the chat. Uh, so that we can see, you know, kind of what we're dealing with here. While you guys are doing that, what we are going to do is we are going to play you, we're going to play you five modules. We're going to play you five examples uh, of what you are going to be getting in the Body Language Mastery course. So the first one we are going to play for you is called the Sexual Hug. Uh, it's about two minutes long, and here we go. <laughs> The sexual hug versus the non-sexual hug. This is the fastest way to know. Hey, Donovan, it's a little distorted. Say what? The, the audio is a little distorted. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on a second. How about... How's that? Is that better? Oh, that one's muted. Or Ooh, can't really hear it there. Distorted. That's weird. Hang on a second. Let me... Uh, do, 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 do. Let me see. Let me see. All right. Is the sound distorted for you guys? I want to make sure we got this... Uh... Okay, let's try it again. How's that? Uh, I get the voice was distorted. Let's hear. The sexual hug. 
Uh, it's a little, but it, I mean, it, I, I, they could get the point. Yeah, but we want to get this right, dude. Hang on a second. Let me turn it yep. down a little bit. Hang on a second. How about this? This is the non-sexual hug. This is the... It's a little bit better. Hmm. Okay. Let me turn it down see. a little bit. All right. How about this? Fastest way to know if a woman will have sex with you. Now, right here, Jacob is... That's perfect. Okay. Right. Very good. I just had to turn it down. All right. Very yep. good. All right. So I'm going to start it all over again. Yep. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start it all over again, and here we go. The sexual hug versus the non-sexual hug. This is the fastest way to know if a woman will have sex with you. Now, right here, Jacob is receiving the non By the way, this bitch is bad. Like, <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Dude, she is. Listen, the other model you had was good looking. This this chick is hot. This oh, this yeah. chick makes you want to do bad things for her. All right, all right. Sexual hug. It is quick. There is a space between her belt line and his. The hug is rather, to an extent, dismissive, but she's not embracing. She's not enjoying it too much. She's not really giving him any positive sexual signs. Now, in comparison to this, when a woman is extremely sexually interested in you, she will give you a hug like this. She will push her breast up against you, and more importantly, she will push her crotch flush against yours. She'll also look up at you with kind of an adoration if you're taller than her. But the most important thing to take away from this is the crotch to crotch contact. There it is. This is the most important thing. I must stress it. If at the end of the night you're getting a hug like this, you should know that this woman is sexually interested in you and she is signaling it with her body language. It is You guys see this right here? You guys see that? You see how she's looking at him? She's maintaining she's maintaining that contact. She's maintaining that that lack of distance look she looks and this is this is funny mld you have hired these guys to you hired the girl you hired the guy to do this mm -hmm. there's no there's no acting here you can't yeah. fake arousal <laughs> even when you pay someone to do it this chick you can tell she's turned on by this guy even oh, with yeah. the non-sexual hugs you can still tell even after she looked after at after she looked at him, after the non-sexual hug, you can tell she still wants to fuck him. That's the power of this course, guys. Up to you to decide whether you want to escalate this situation to the next level sexually. This is so important, and I stress it because it is probably the most important indicator in this entire course. The crotch-to-crotch -crotch hug usually indicates that she is ready to have sex. Excellent. Okay, MLD. So, <clears throat> give us sort of uh, give us a rundown on the sexual hug, ver the sexual hug versus the non-sexual hug, and and then I'll sort of tag team off of that with you. Yeah, this is like the quickest way to know if a girl is ready to have sex with you. Um, I notice this like if you're on a date with a girl and you're about you're like giving her a hug good night, and you're at you're like at your car or you're about to say goodbye to her. You know what they'll typically do is they'll hug you and they'll go crotch to crotch. And sometimes they'll hug you and she'll pull back to look at you and she'll look up at you. And typically that's when she wants you to kiss her. Right. But yep. if the crotch doesn't touch you, if she kind of gives you like this kind of leaning tower thing, like leaning in, like, oh, don't don't touch me too much. That's when she's quite honestly, she does, she's not she doesn't feel sexually attracted to you. It doesn't feel sexually comfortable to you. But this is across the board globally. It doesn't matter if she's from Africa, Asia, China doesn't matter if she feels att attraction to you she will push her crotch flush up against yours and if you're considerably taller than you a uh, taller than her she will bury her head in okay. your chest as well yep absolutely yeah um listen i second that i can't i couldn't i couldn't really put that any better myself uh magpie bloody magpie actually makes a uh makes an astute observation i actually saw this the first time around is you can tell when they're pulling away from the hug when they're supposed to break the hug mm -hmm. she still maintains that contact like as mm -hmm. if she doesn't want to let go so so they hug they come on back and she maintains that 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 contact again this and to i guess to the untrained eye to the inexperienced individual 
you you probably wouldn't recognize this. And I think age has a lot to do with it too. We have a lot of young guys in our audience mm -hmm. and it stands to reason that the younger you are, the less experience you have. But mm -hmm. when you commit this stuff to memory, when you say, um, when you, when you see this stuff, when you immerse yourself, yourself in this stuff, you start to see the code in the matrix. I'll just I listen, just like that scene. We all talk about when Neo is looking down the hall at the agents and you know, they're, they're firing bullets at him and he stops, he stops the bullet. He takes one out of the air and then he looks at the agents and they're all in code. That's when he got it. That's what this course is going to do for you. Yeah, you know, it's funny that this comment is on the screen right now. Is this applicable to meeting women at church? Yes. I can't tell you how many times. I used to go to Faith Assembly of God in Orlando, Florida, off of Goldenrod Road. They moved now, right? And after the uh, Sunday night service, which was finished, like, it was finished around 8 p.m., started at 6 p.m., I will never forget. One time this girl, she hugged me. And I remember her crotch was pushing up so, like hard against my crotch and to the point that like, <laughs> you know, my dick was kind of like flopped to the side because of her pressure. Like she moved it. Oh, You're a fucking all right. <laughs> and I, I was like, bitch, this is this is a house of God. Like, what are you doing? And I'd never forget it. I ended up fucking that girl. Dude, I'm telling you, women don't communicate these overt signals of uh, attraction because they don't want to get rejected and they don't want to feel like a slut, right? They give you these little indicators that they're interested and it's up to you as a man to make the move. A woman, if you're sitting around waiting for a woman to make the move, she's probably yep. only going to do it if you're like a celebrity or if you're waiting a long, long time. No, listen, uh, MLD makes an excellent point. As far as sexual attraction is concerned, men, we are, women are passive. We are aggressive, right? This is why when a man wants to get married, he's the one that asks the woman to marry him. Um, men are supposed to be the aggressors. Women are supposed to be, because think about this. Think about this. It's the masculine versus the feminine. If there is a woman out there who hits on guys at the bar, that's not very feminine. That's masculine as shit. And that's unattractive. On the other side of that coin, if there is a man at the bar waiting for women to come and hit on him, just kind of posting up at the bar like he's a female, that's not attractive to women. Mm -hmm. We are supposed to be in the active role. Women are supposed to be in the passive role. A man fucks a woman. A woman gets fucked by a man. It is it is quite literally the same thing. Don't don't believe these Twitter guru liars who sit around saying, oh, approaching a woman is pussy begging and it's not alpha. You got to sit back and wait for the women to come to you. That's just not true. If no. you sit back waiting for women to come to you, you're going to be, I mean, you're going to be waiting for a long ass time because these girls, quite honestly, they will think you're a pussy. They yeah. will think you're not a, a real man. And anybody who advises you to sit back and wait, or I just sit back and let the women come to me, that's code for I am afraid to put my balls on the line and approach women because I'm afraid to get rejected, which is fine. We all have, and it's not approach anxiety. And the reason I don't call it approach anxiety anymore is because if every woman you approached gave you her number, you would have no problem with approaching. No, what you're afraid of is rejection. Perfectly natural. That's a perfectly normal human response. But any man who says, well, I just wait for the girls to come to me and you should do it too. What he is telling you is he has rejection anxiety and he doesn't want to put his balls on the line. He doesn't want to get his, his fragile ego popped again. Um, Eric Extraordinaire asks a very good question. Beta hug is conscious. Is alpha hug unconscious? I would definitely say yes. It it's is unconscious. absolutely unconscious. It, it again, women cannot hide their arousal for a man, no matter how much they try to hide it. They try all the time, and a, a lot of times, sometimes women even try to feign disinterest. And guys like me and, and and MLD are like, dude, like, okay, so she's playing the hard to get thing, but she's been looking at me all night long. Like, like, dude, like you've been staring at me for like a half an hour straight. Like you're burning a hole in my chest. But when I approach you, you're so you're going, oh, I didn't notice. No, sweetie, like you were burning a hole at me. Like, get up out of here. Yeah. And then there's a guy in the chart in the chat, George Money says, it's all a numbers game in the end. That's completely wrong. Because um, imagine you're a football team, since in honor of being on your show, I'll use a football analogy. Imagine you're a football team and you're playing against the Patriots, but you have the Patriots playbook. Are you telling right. me you're not going to be able to blow them out the fucking water? Mm-hmm. If you don't have their playbook with body language, you have the female playbook. You can be like, holy God, she's doing this 
and I can see right now that's what this means. And I have a video guide here that shows you exactly how to get it done. Listen, the FBI, the NSA, the right. CIA, Secret Service, Police Force, all military agencies around the world, do you think that they train all of their soldiers and government agents in body language just because, oh, it, it just might help? You really think that? No, body language is real. This is the future of dating right here. In the future, we'd be able to put on a contact lens and read all of their body language, uh, you know, indicators and descend, de decide like whether she's going to be more sexually interested in you or not. But right now we don't have that, but we do have video based courses like this. And I'll tell you this, there's no other course like this in the entire world. There's not a single body language dating course in the entire world like this one. There's simply not. There's like you know, confidence body language for men and all that stuff, which is also included in this course that I'm putting out in a couple of uh, a couple of days here. It's going to be added to the course, the section for men. But let's be honest, men want the stuff that's going to help them get laid. And that's exactly what we have here. Perfect, perfect. Um, uh, George Money says either she's interested or she ain't is what I meant, LOL. If she isn't interested to begin with, you can't force her to. Um, first of all, you got to learn to spell. Second of all, guys, listen, I'm, I'm trying to tell you here. I'm trying to tell you here. Do not listen to guys like George Money, okay? Number one, his name, George Money, right? <laughs> he's, trying to, he's trying to make us all think that he has money. Number two, look at his profile picture. That's the 1990s profile pic. Like, yeah, I'm the shit, yet this guy is in somebody else's chat trying to tell us probably how he fucks nothing but nines and tens. Now, something that he does say is correct. You're right. Either she's interested or she's not. Well, how do I tell the difference between whether she's interested or she's not? Body language. So appreciate that, George. Captain Obvious calling the kettle black. Uh, you get to get, you, you get to get, uh, you actually get to get timed out and blocked because clearly, clearly George Money doesn't need body language mastery course. He, he doesn't need this stuff. George Money has it all figured out. Um, listen, uh, like, comment, subscribe, George Money on YouTube. I'm sure he has. I'm sure he has a YouTube channel. I'm sure he's got a website. I'm sure he teaches courses. I'm sure he teaches guys how to pick up chicks because clearly he knows everything about picking up chicks. Just given and, and actually the backwards hat is what did it for me. As soon as I saw the backwards hat and him doing this, I was like that guy, that guy right there. He gets pussy and he tells us he gets pussy. That's how we <laughs> he gets. He gets. <sighs> Yeah, oh, exactly. that's hilarious. Um, Gaming for Less wants to know, um, is it possible to just buy the webinar? Uh, no, it's not possible. It's, it's all it's all together. It's all uh, one package. And, and I, you know, no offense, but I just I, I, I don't I don't want to deal with guys that are like wishy washy. Like yeah, this is right. this is not just about getting more pussy. Yes, of course we get that handled. But at the end of the day, it's entering a group of guys that are chasing excellence, trying to get the big three, money, muscles, and game. Okay. Sure. If you want to be self-employed, like look at, look at Donovan and I, we're both self-employed red pill guys. No woman is pulling a fucking quick one on us for the rest of our lives. Okay. Like he's got Devin in check. I got my woman in check. There's no ands, ifs, or buts about it. And look, we are broadcasting our life daily for you guys to see here on the internet. We're the real deal. So if you want to learn to have this kind of power, then that's what you got to do. But if you're a kind of guy that's like, well, I don't know, and I'm worried about the beer bug and all this and that, like, honestly, I can't help you. I, I just don't deal well with teaching those kind of guys. Guys, be sure to subscribe to George Money's channel. He only has eight subscribers. Let's see if we can get him up to 10 today. George Money, like, comment, subscribe. George Money has all the answers. Right now, he's got FIFA playing over on his channel because, again, clearly he doesn't need to worry about bitches because he's got all of them. So if you guys want to really learn, listen, if you guys want a cheap and easy way to learn about women, go to George Money, like, comment, subscribe. I'm probably giving him subscribers uh, I'm probably <laughs> subscribers uh, uh, right now as it is. Okay, um, so the next clip we are going to play here, pardon me, the next clip we're going to play here is going to be called Seductive Feeding, okay? Yes. Productive Feeding. This is very, very important. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, seductive feeding or lack thereof or not understanding the nuances with this, this can really sort of turn things well, for better or worse, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and play it. Here we go. I know what you might be thinking. 
Really? Eating? Seduction? Body language? Do these things go together? Take a look here at these clips from our B-roll with Judy. Write down what you think, and we're going to jump right into it because this is really going to blow your mind, especially for you sly dogs out there who like to do the cooking date at home. It's usually a personal favorite of mine as well that I use to this day. All right. Well, as you can see, there are two gestures here. Um, this is the first one when I make the attempt to feed her and she backs off and she's really not okay with it, but she takes it and she eats it anyways, right? And then here is the second one. Uh, it is a little bit more forced and she has to take control of it right there and she eats on her own. Now, the third one here is what you're looking for. And this is, you want to make sure that the girl is eating when you feed her, okay? When she accepts food from you, this is a form of submission. She has to trust you. She has to trust the <laughs> fork if you're using a fork or the spoon or, you know, if your hands, she has to trust you overall. It is a form of submission and it's very seductive in a way. Also, you can kind of flip the script and do it to her as well. If she tries to feed you, you can play hard to get. What I have come to learn is that usually if a girl will let you put food in her mouth, she will probably let you put other things in her mouth. Uh, you know, use your imagination. But this is just a very undercover kind of secret body language that most people do not really look into or even try to analyze. But I find this as a great way to find out what is her buying temperature. How does she feel when she's around me? If we have a date and I'm cooking some pancakes, some French toast or making ice cream, I can lightly place my left hand on her shoulder and guide the spoonful of ice cream or forkful of French toast or pancakes with my right hand. And if she accepts it, usually this means she's comfortable with you and she's overall enjoying the interaction. And it is a form of submission. However, if she rejects you, like these two um, videos here we have of Judy rejecting me, know that you have to work on your overall seduction and building her warmth towards you. This is a very unorthodox technique, but I can tell you it works through and through. The only way you're going to find out is getting out there and trying it. It is also good to like observe couples in public or in a park. And, you know, unfortunately, these days we see a lot of men being in the submissive roles to women. And you can see that the women are feeding the men and you can really with this course in general, you can see who really is the dominant and who is the submissive in the relationship. And ideally for masculine men, you want to be the dominant. And that usually, in my opinion, brings forth the happiest relationship for guys who are into our type of content. Okay. All right. Very good. So that was, uh, give me one second. Yeah, that was, that was seductive feeding. And so with what's going on right now with our current, you know, can't say the Q word cause we might get knocked off, sure, sure. but if we're, we have to stay within our houses right now, guys, just so you know, this is a time for opportunity. Every girl is glued to their phone. Every girl is on some sort of dating app and they are willing to travel and come to your place. Okay. At the end of the day, this is probably one of the most useful things you can learn in 2020 because home dates are going to be top notch. They're going to be home dates so are much, they're, they're going to be more important now than ever. And you know, you use this combination of two things. This is the perfect shit test right now. With everything that's going on, you do two things to get a woman in your frame. Okay, here's free. Here's a free one for you. Number one, you ask her, hey, you're not showing any symptoms of this beer bug, are you? You're not coughing oh, oh, or anything. Oh, like, you're, Are you clean? 
or if you hung out with anybody who has any symptoms and immediately they're going to be like, no, 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 I'm clean. I have, I'm really healthy. I do yoga. I'm a vegan. I, I do uh, calisthenic work every single day. Um, I'm really healthy. My grandma lived until she was 103 and they're going to get into the position to start framing you. Be like, okay, well, I really want to take care of my immune system and protect myself. Why don't you come over and we'll just have a healthy dinner and we can hang out and cook together. Then she comes over and you're feeding her in the kitchen and then you give her a little test. Like you're in the kitchen, you're touching her and making sure everything's good. And you say, hey, come here. You know, say, hey, hey, Susie, come here. I want you to taste this and have her open her mouth. And if she takes it and she bites it and she submits to you with the food, that means she's submitting to you and she is more likely ready to have sex with you. And to be honest, if she's not, she'll be like, oh, it's okay. Or she'll like, if you're going to give her, you know, the, the fork and you're going to feed it to her, she'll be like, oh, it's okay. Here, I'll take it. And she'll take it from me and taste it herself. That means she's just not ready and or she's not sexually interested in you. Excellent. So CJ Ransom, he actually shares the mentality of a lot of, I mean, he's probably a younger guy. Mm -hmm. uh, his first comment was, um, <clears throat> A woman's body language is so confusing and yes it, it 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 absolutely is confusing if you're not familiar with how to read it <clears throat> pardon me that's why this course exists but then he says if they like you <clears throat> it's all that matters sadly though they want to hide interest if they do like you no that's false um i don't know when you got here cj but listen carefully if a woman really does like you, if she is sexually interested in you, if she's interested in you on any, on any level, she can't hide it even when she tries to. And this is why you have to learn how to read a woman's body language. A lot of guys miss out on a lot of easy pussy because, and the reason why girls don't like to throw out IOI so freely is because they don't want to look like sluts, right? Mm -hmm. They don't want, and not only that, they don't want to be throwing IOIs to, 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 to the people they don't want catching the IOIs. So what they do is they feign disinterest in, in order to try to, uh, they feign disinterest to try to get you to chase them. But girls will always leave breadcrumbs. They always leave breadcrumbs. It's, it, it's a look. Maybe there's a gesture, whatever the case may be. Well, how can I learn to, how can I learn these gestures? Body language mastery. That's how this goes. Yeah, and I said, like, a lot of guys saying body language is confusing or women are confusing. Guys, it's 2020. There's no reason to be ignorant anymore. The data is out there. We've Like, the government's been studying people. Google's been studying people. Facebook's been studying people. Like, people are just like the matrix code behind me. They are an algorithm that you can read if you have the right knowledge. And having red pill knowledge between this course and watching Donovan's stuff on a daily basis and my show as well... I mean, you're going to be literally, what would you say, Donovan, a top 1% man in regards to our understanding? Yeah, yeah. Like, dude, like nobody, like, dude, and you and I had this moment. We assumed that everybody, and see, body language is so, at least as far as I was concerned, even before I found the red pill, I was adept at reading people's body language. Dude, I've been in sales, dude, I was in sales for two decades of my life. And learning to read people's body language is crucial. It's critical. It's the difference between one comma in your paycheck and possibly two or, oh, yeah. you know, the decimal points or whatever, whatever you want to call it. But <clears throat> learning, learning to read a woman's body language or reading people's body language, that is not a skill that most people have. Some people are naturally able to read body language. Some people have to learn it. Maybe I'm a natural, maybe I wasn't. I don't know. I can't really say. But I do know that when I took your course, when I watched your course, that definitely helped. CJ Ransom says, women have even told me I didn't want you to know. You're lying. You're lying. Like, that's not true. A woman, <laughs> a woman, who, is, a woman who is interested in you is not going to tell you, I didn't want you to know that I was interested. No, why would she do that? Mm -hmm. Like, why in the world, why in the world would she, why in the world would a woman who liked you tell you, I did not want you to know? Come on, man. Like, you, listen, you, you, you got to be honest with us. We can't help you. We can't help you if you aren't honest. That's kind of the way this goes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, look, the thing is, the, the bottom line is this, okay? Let me tell you a story. I'm talking to a girl that I've never met right now, right? 22 years old, I'm 34. Okay, give me a fucking wheelchair. All right, <laughs> I am, I am, I am. She, she's 22. Okay, and we've never met. All we're doing is talking over text. And I talked to her. I looked at her body language through her her photos, and I was able to figure out what kind of girl she is. And then I started talking to her. 
and we're texting. Next thing you know, she's texting me back right away, and she's telling me, when are you going to come to Orlando? I can't wait to be with you. I'm living with my boyfriend, but he doesn't get it. So many guys don't get it. And now she is straight up addicted to me. I wake up in the morning, and she sends me naked photos, and I don't even want them. I just, like, wake up, and I see them. And all the guys in my private group, they all see exactly who this chick is, and they know who she is, and they've been watching my, my verbal text of seduction with her. And once you figure out women, I'm telling you, women will be addicted to you. Yep. Women, dude, Donovan, like, let's be honest. You and I, we both have women who are addicted to our shows and watch us in silence. They do. They do. <laughs> Every once in a while, they'll call, too, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, CJ Ransom says, I really think body language depends on the girl. He's right. <clears throat> body language does depend on the girl, but what you have to understand, see body language is like automobiles, right? When we get in an automobile, John, whether it's a Lamborghini, a Lexus, or a Toyota, we know that the gas pedals on the right and, or the gas pedals on the right and the brake pedals on the left. We know that if we steer the wheel to the left, we're going to turn left. If we steer the wheel to the right, we're going to turn right. All cars are different. They come in different sizes, shapes. Their engines are different. They top end speed is different. Curb weight is different. There are so many different variations of cars, but they all function the same way. Mm -hmm. Female body language does vary slightly from woman to woman, but not that much. White girls aren't the only ones who do the hair flip, CJ. Black mm -hmm. girls, if, if real or real hair or not, they do the hair flip too, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to understand that, yes, body language does vary slightly from person to person, depending on their age, their race, the situation, the context. But by and large, body language is universal. And like I said before, if a woman is truly, genuinely interested in you, she cannot hide it, even if she wants to. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, listen, they 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 they, they, they don't even know what they're doing. You guys, like a lot of you guys think that like women are are like these like all knowing like. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, um, well, yeah, dude, you know, simple, dude. Girls are as simple as a cardboard box, man. That's really what it comes down to. They're not that smart. It's just that you're that ignorant. No offense, but it's just like, you know, you well, like. It, well, listen, I think it does have to do a little bit of lack of knowledge. I won't call it ignorance, but yeah, yeah thing, definitely. We always say that girls are great at manipulating men. No, they're not. Girls are not. They're, they're not any good at manipulating men. Men just want to fuck them. And that the 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 strong desire for for men to want to fuck them that's what makes it easy for them to manipulate you guys aren't stupid like when a girl says or does something we say okay this is in the back of our mind listen okay i know she's handling me i know she's trying to manipulate me but i want to fuck her so i'll go along with it right so yeah. so so again and i i said all that to say this women aren't complicated just just like john said they're not that smart the only reason why we get we we sort of get mystified and stupefied uh you know by the allure the smell of a woman is because we're men that's it it has nothing to do with her cerebral brawn we mm -hmm. want to fuck her really badly and she takes advantage of that that's yeah. how, all there is to it and i'd like to add a point to that you know as men right we're not forced to play game we're not forced to practice game men can completely check out from game a hundred percent but women are forced to learn game because men are constantly approaching them. From the moment they get a little sp pair of boobs when they're 15, they are guys in the high school who are hitting on them like, oh, hey, what's up, girl? Like, you know, oh. let's go hang out by the flagpole. Let's go let meet me at the gym. You know, let's hang. Let's go make out under the bleachers. They're constantly learning about this. My my girlfriend, she's Japanese, right? And she knew she said when she was 14, 15, she knew that one of her teachers liked her. And she was 14. You know what she did? She said, I used to flirt with him and touch him on the shoulder so he would give me a better grade. She knew from a young age. Yep. yep. So th that's what I'm saying. Women, they get forced into learning game. If a, if a girl's walked up to you every single day since you were 13 and they started hitting on you and gaming you and be like, hey, you want these, you know, you want these baseball cards? You want these Pokemon cards? You want this food? Like, I, I just want to hang out with you. And she wanted to have sex with you. You would learn how to manipulate and use women just the same way. They're not, they learn how to use men. Our desire and attraction to them is their is their number one weapon that they can use against you. But once you retract your attention because you read their body language, you know, oh, she's not interested. Right. Now you got the upper hand. And now not even and even even still to add to that, 
learning a woman's true body language will help you to tell the difference between a woman who really wants to fuck you or a woman who's just trying to manipulate you, right? The hug is the telltale sign. There are so many girls out here who like to hug guys. So many guys are clueless, John, about, about this. Listen, if you are not cock to coochie, she don't want you, player. And that's all there is to it. Well, dude, every she totally wants me. She hugs me all the time. Really? Are you cock? Are you cock to coochie? Is, is her head buried into your chest? Does she grab you with both arms? Are her hands on your shoulders from the backside when she hugs you? No, no, she doesn't want to fuck you. She wants you to, she's trying to make you think she wants to fuck you. This is how guys get duped. Colonel Sanders, the 16th, wants to know is there a payment plan? I'm just going to answer that question. No. Um, give me one second. Oh, here's another one. Uh, Amar uh, Kermani with a $2 super chat. How much does her body language depend upon yours? Good question. I mean, none really. I mean, I've, if you're like, if she wants you, she wants you, right? Yeah. If she wants you, she wants you. Listen, listen, guys, if a girl in 2020 tells you I'm busy, I didn't get my, I didn't get your text message. My phone was dead. She, she, she's lying. She's of just course. not that interested in you. Okay. And the same thing with the whole situation regards to her body language. If she likes you, she's not going to be like, oh, I like him. I better not. I, I better hide my body language. A lot of these girls, dude, most people aren't aware of the body language they're giving off. When you turn this body language. I, there you what's go. that? I was, I was agreeing with you. People yeah. Can't, this is why the FBI, the CIA. This is why they have the, the, the cameras like in the interrogation room when they ask you questions, baseline questions, and then they ask you questions that they want to know the answers to. They study your facial like, dude, depending upon whether you look up or down, gives them all the information. What which way goes up the right lip or, or the or the left lip? All of these things are crucial. And these are involuntary reflexes, guys. You and there are people out here who can manipulate body language to make people think that they're thinking or doing one thing when they're actually thinking and doing another. These people, dude, these people are fractions of one percentile in the universe. And even those guys can't do it all the time, least of all girls. Yeah, definitely. Um, girls are more adept at like reading the subtle cues that a guy likes her. That's why a girl can like feel that you like her. Like sometimes you'll be like, like contemplating to approach a girl, but you're kind of like, oh, I don't know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to inch over. And she can see you at the corner of her eye, like getting closer and closer, like building up the courage to go and talk to her. And then she's going to reject you because she's not interested. Yep. Right. That That's that's like how they're innately more in tune with it, kind of like a defense mechanism that nature has given them because we're men. We're big. We're strong. We don't need like to read all these precautionary things. Women have to be more precautionary in life because quite honestly, men are the bigger, stronger, faster, smarter things. Right. But they have to be more uh, uh, preventative. So they have these higher, higher developed skills in regards to these social dynamics, these body language, and also social cues, conversations, picking up and things like that. Okay, uh, before, we, uh, before we go on to phallic gestures, which is my favorite video, could almost be porn, let's answer this question. Spencer uh, wants to know, please explain the hair flip. Okay, well, first of all, there's two hair flips, Spencer. Spencer, I've been talking to you about joining Body Language Mastery since quarter three. I, I don't even know if I want to go over this again. But when it comes to the hair flip, there's a hair flip in two directions, okay? Right here is a, is a vein called your jugular. And this is a vein that r runs blood directly to your brain, okay? If that gets slashed... It's game over. You're going to bleed out and you're going to die. This is also when MMA fighters, when it's called a blood choke, when they put the rear naked choke around this side AK and this side. Paper hold. Yes, when you put them like that, it cuts. it's called a blood choke. It stops blood to the brain, and you, and you pass out faster than if oxygen were to be deprived, okay? This is a very sensitive part of the human body. If a girl likes you, she's going to take her hair, she's going to throw it over her shoulder, and she's going to expose her neck to you. Like this. If she doesn't like you, she's gonna go like this. She's gonna take her hair, she's gonna put it forward, yep. and she's gonna like, kind of like, uh, you know, curl up and kind of defensively show herself. Her neck. Yes, she's hiding her neck. A woman who exposes her neck with a backwards hair flip is a woman who likes you. If a woman takes takes her hair and puts it in the front, this is not a woman who is interested in you. Mm -hmm. 
Good. Very, very, very good explanation. Uh, Merciless Six with the $5 Super Chat. He says, would you agree that men should keep it moving after seeing constricted eyes in the first five minutes of conversation? Um, what is the, let me think, is he talking about, um, when he says constricted eyes, is he talking about like, you know, squinting eyes or? Uh, I don't know. If you would, Merciless Six, uh, clarify your uh, your question. Um, and uh, while you're clarifying your question, we're going to play the next video. Uh, this is Phallic Gestures. This is one of my favorites. Here we go. All right. This is a long one, but this is probably one of the most valuable. It's a little, it's a little choppy, Don. What we're seeing here is called a phallic gesture. Now, phallus is the oh, Greek yeah, word for penis. And Hang on a second. Hang on a second. You said it's a little choppy? It's a little distorted. I don't know why it's doing this. This doesn't make any sense. Okay, how's this? What she's actually doing right Perfect. now. Perfect. Okay, Jesus Christ. All right, we'll start it over. Here we go. Phallic gestures. I be stroking. I'm gonna go drain the main vein. Okay. All right, this is a long one, but this is probably one of the most valuable modules in the entire course. What we're seeing here is called a phallic gesture. Now, phallus is the Greek word for penis. And what she's actually doing right now, she is showing her subconscious sexual attraction to you on the date. If you see this, this is 1000% a green light to know that she is attracted in you. Now, this can be done with a variety of other glasses. Here, we just have like a kind of standard Collins glass, if you will. And again, just it's slow, it's rhythmic. She probably won't even consciously realize that she's doing it, but this is seen time and time again by myself and other members in Body Language Mastery 1.0. This was confirmed as a global body language from women of all ages, races, and languages as well. Now, if she has a wine glass, this is how she would be doing it. She would usually hold the base with one hand and then begin this sort of rhythmic sexual stroking of the stem that will let you know that she is feeling sexual. And typically, the more a woman drinks, the more kind of transparent she becomes with her body language. So as she drinks more, you might notice the frequency of these body language gestures, especially these phallic gestures come to light. Here you can see she's kind of penetrating the top of the drink with the straw as if this was kind of a sexual penetration act. This too is a huge indicator in female body language, letting you know that whatever you're doing on the date, whatever you showed up, whatever you said, it's working and she is liking you. There is also another variation of this when she would just stroke the straw here up and down, up and down. At other times, she may even put the straw in her mouth and lick some whipped cream or coffee off the straw while maintaining eye contact with you. If that's the case, you should know that you have it in the bag. Of course, that's a very extreme situation. Most likely, it's going to be more of a subtle body language gesture like this one here. The stroking of the straw. She may stroke it with the front or the back. Just know that when you are seeing these gestures, she is having a wild sexual fantasy in her mind, whether it be subconscious or consciously, if not both. The final two phallic gestures are here. Now we're going back to the Collins glass here. As you can see, Adisa is slowly but methodically running her fingers around the tip of the rim of the glass. This is her imagining something sexual, whether it be her touching the tip of her penis or touching other parts of your body. Her mind is racing and this is channeling itself through her body language out into the real world. This is a huge indicator that she is very, very sexually interested in you. And at that moment, whatever you're doing is doing very, very well. 
And now here you can see her doing it with the wine glass. Again, this is so common if a woman is sexually interested in you. There's also a sign of comfort. She's kind of just letting her guard down and kind of playing with the objects in front of her. She's having a good time. She's being properly seduced and she's enjoying your company. So when you see these gestures, know that it might be time to call for the check and your nearest Uber. Okay, very good. Phallic gestures is, <clears throat> that's something that, I, I think phallic gestures, probably something that, a, that that men miss more than even the hug. Explain the phallic gesture. Phallic gestures is nowhere found in any kind of dating thing. This is something that I pretty much figured out on my own. I'd, I It all started when I, because I always take girls, everybody knows I have my famous $5 Starbucks date, right? And, um... I started to notice this was in 2013. No, no, no. 2012, 2011. I was still in America then. <clears throat> that I would take these girls out and I would notice they would take the sleeve of the Starbucks and I would never forget because I remember there's this one girl. Her name was Jenny. She was so hot. She was blonde. And I remember she took her, she had these bright red lips on. And I remember she left the ring of her lipstick around the white lid of the Starbucks cup. And I remember she would look at me while she was drinking and then put it down and slide the little brown ring that's around the, the like, you know, that I'm talking about the, the thing that's supposed to prevent you from burning your hand on the Starbucks cup. She would slide that down and then slide it up and then slide it down and then slide it up. And she would be doing that while make, making this like piercing eye contact with me. And I've noticed that it happened with girls also in Colombia, and it happened to girls in Japan, and it happened with chicks when I was in America. It, it, it's, a, it's a universal thing. Once they like you, you'll see them do this. And everybody who's watching right now, if you go on a date with a girl and you look for this and she likes you, you will see her doing it. End of the story, period. Excellent. Um, BK from the Rockies, um, real quick before we get to the um, uh, before we get to uh, Myron's uh, 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 super chat here. Um, yeah, Sharp Stream is where you can watch my live stream. I do not like Sharp Stream as my own streaming platform. I don't host videos on Sharp Stream, at least not yet. You can watch the live stream on Sharp Stream, and then you can watch the then you can watch the replay of my you know uh, uh, my breakdowns on Patreon. YouTube is really, really, uh, they are, at, they are really, really tightening the screws on me with this love is blind thing. I think I might have found a way to make it a little bit more legit and to sort of circumvent the whole copyright thing. Either way, I'll be streaming to all my platforms. So if YouTube clips my, if they clip my uh, video again, you can just go to sharp stream and I'll just continue the, um, I'll just continue the, uh, uh, the topic from there. Myron Gaines of unplugged fitness says, by the course, I give fitness seminars. MLD teaches game and life advice. Rich Cooper for business. Rolo, Rolo Tomasi, the great. Donovan Sharp teaches game. Ryan Stone, Ed Lattimore, John Fitch, etc. Do it. Yep, definitely. Myron's in there changing a lot of people who have questions and who are trying to really get their fitness sorted, up, sorted out. I mean, he, he changes all these dudes' lives. And uh, he is in there with me giving presentations. And yep. he, like, you know, he likes to keep a professional on the YouTube and he is a professional for sure. But behind the privacy of the webinars, we can really be men in a kind of judgment free zone. We're like, we're not going to be shamed. We're not going to be shut down by YouTube censorship, nothing like that. Once we're in, we're in and there's nobody coming there to say, Hey, you can't say that. Hey, Hey, don't you, don't you fat shame that person or don't you be misogynist or blah, blah, blah. It's a place where you can come in and communicate effectively and efficiently as men. Because me and Donovan, we have to like kind of dance around saying certain words. And yep. you know what I mean? We have to say beer bug instead of what's really going on. Or, right. or <laughs> YouTube, YouTube's going to come and be, you know, crazy with their Nazi like censorships. But with this program behind the scenes, you're scot free. Listen, 100%, man. Um, and that's what I, that's actually what I like about having MLD on, especially like when we're dealing with like um, uh, our own platforms, when we, we can talk about this stuff candidly. 
the dude the webinars i think i don't know the webinars and, and we're going to play the uh, we're going to play uh, another couple of clips here but the web like the body language mastery course is this is you know obviously it speaks for itself but the real value comes with the webinar every yes. day for 3 weeks guys you get one on one time and dude i'll dude i charge i charge now $435 an hour for consultations i'll make two or th dude two three sometimes even more appearances on mlds on mlds webinars you guys got to get on this man yep it's like i said where else can you come talk to donovan sharp Rolo Tomasi, myself, yep. John Fitch, MMA fighter, Ed Lattimore. Oh, Fitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. All these things. And to top it off, listen, you're getting access to these webinars that are going to be three weeks in quarter one. You're also going to get access to them when they happen in quarter two and in quarter three and in quarter four. You get grandfathered in for the entire year, okay? If you put it off and wait to join quarter two, the price is going to go up and you're just going to waste time and not get as much value. Let's be honest. Donald Trump is sending every American $1,200. There's no excuse for you. The money's coming. Big Daddy Trump is sending that stimulus check. So, I mean, use your money and invest in yourself because now more than ever, the world is getting red-pilled. Are you going to be left behind in the dust or are you going to join the, the rest of us on the other side? Hollywood's getting red-pilled. All these super blue pill feminist agenda movies are crashing. Star yep. Wars, Ghostbusters, all all the, the new X Men, the new Star Trek, all this stuff, the new Batman or the Batwoman, all that crap, right? Okay. All these blue pill feminist movies are crashing. And you know what's super successful? Movies like The Joker, super yep. red pill, super truth. So if you want to continue and stick your head in the sand, you're just going to be left behind for making all the money all the muscle and all the women that the rest of us are going to be getting. Cause like I said, now more than ever, red pill data is the most priceless commodity, whether, the, whether they want to politically agree with it or not, the world is getting red pilled. And this is the way to turbo charge your learning curve. And guys, they don't want you to have this information. They don't. There's somebody who's watching me on Twitter who can't watch me on YouTube. He, he they, like, he can't watch me on YouTube. Right? Like I sent him the right channel. They're not showing my live. They're not showing my live feed uh, to everybody. That's how this is how this is how important this information is. If we didn't know what we were talking about, they wouldn't give a shit because they're like, okay, these guys don't know what they're talking about. They're incels. They live in their mom's basements and this and that and the third. But they know that we're on to something. They know that we have absolutely cracked the matrix and they don't want, listen, if guys figure it out, the economy crashes, right? The economy needs the beta male. The economy needs the blue pill. The more red, the more guys you red pill, the less guys get married, right? The less guys get married, the less opportunities they have to transfer resources from men to women. That's how this is. So when you guys see information like this, like trying to tell, like when you guys get information like MLD's body language mastery course and being able to decipher whether or not a woman is genuinely interested in you, you're not the guy who's going to get tricked into taking some slut, you know, and paying a hundred dollars for a dinner and then getting blue balls at the end of the night. Like you're the kinds of guys who aren't going to fall for this nonsense anymore. That's why they don't want, that's why they don't want you guys to see this content because if they do, the jig is up. That's all there is to it, man. Yeah. And another thing is this guys, you guys got to realize, look, woman does, they, they, a woman does not want to go and eat dinner with you. A woman doesn't want to go and go on a walk with you. At the end of the day, if a woman is in is interested in you, she wants to get fucked, okay? She will go and have a Starbucks with you for one hour, make up her mind, and go back to your place. And to be honest with you, I don't recommend it, but she'll let you hit it raw. If she's into you, oh, she, yeah. she, she, yeah. wouldn't, she doesn't care. I mean, Donovan, how many times have girls just been like giving you zero objection to having unprotected dude, sex because they were so into you. Dude, John, listen, man, I have fucked countless girlfriends and wives and almost every single time I had to be the one to stop that. Whoa, wait a minute. Let's use a condom, right? And I'm a, and I'm a dude. Dude's almost, dude, every guy wants to hit it raw. But when you're in Vegas and it's that easy, like, wait a minute, you told me, you, like, like 30 minutes into the conversation, 30 minutes, two cocktails, you're like, all right, I'm in 212, let's go. All right, well, let's do it. No, dude, no resistance. And she wants me to hit this raw? No, 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 no. 
then you think to yourself, how many other guys have hit this raw? Right? Does she does, does she have an STD? Does she have a history? This is these are all things that matter, guys. These are all things that matter. Um, Myron Gaines, another five dollar super chat says it's a steal. Donovan charges 400 plus MLD two to three hundred. Cooper, a thousand, etc. You get access to these men for a fraction of the price with body language mastery. Take action, guys. Myron's out. Listen, Myron's out here spitting game, man. He's out here spitting game to you guys. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Let's go to the, uh, listen, let's go to the next video. And hold on a second. Oop. Let me uh, share my screen here. Okay. So this next video is comfort. How to tell a girl is comfortable with you. So let's go ahead and let me turn the volume down over here so you guys don't get blown out. And here we go. Comfort indicators. So here, take a look at Arisa. Oh, she is cool. crossing her leg as she stands. Now, what this is an indicator of is extreme comfort because she is standing in an uneven base here. And quite honestly, she's very vulnerable in that situation. She could easily fall over, but she chooses to do so in your presence. A second one here is the shoe dangle. This is more of a playful gesture that you'll see them do. When she takes her shoe and kind of dangles it on the toe, she's feeling free, she's feeling relaxed, and she's enjoying the atmosphere, whether it be in public transport or on a date with you. So again, Quickly, the comfort indicators are here. The standing leg cross, right? This is her kind of purposely being off balance, but being, you know, entranced by the conversation at hand and feeling comfortable. And then we have the shoe dangle. This will be done with shoes like these, slip-ons, high heels. Just know that this body language gesture isn't limited to a shoe type. If she can dangle an object that is a shoe on the tip of her toe, then she is feeling comfortable and happy in the moment. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, Goman says, OMG, girls do this all the time in front of me. Guess what, Goman? You are missing out on easy pussy, my friend. Um, real quick before we get to the breakdown of that particular video, Merciless 6 clarifies. He said, sorry, I meant constricted pupils opposite of dilated so if you're so if you see that a girl has constricted pupils in other words her pupils aren't dilated should you just you know forget about that or should you pursue me that, i don't think you can tell one way or the other i think yeah you're you're really you're really reading a little too much into it and also if you're in outside you're like in a public park if, yeah. there's, if it's a high light area there's a lot of lights, you know, the sun or you're at the beach or something. All of our pupils are going to become small because it doesn't want the, the brain doesn't want so much light coming in and overloading our sensors and our eyeballs. So that's really hard to tell. And I, I typically I think that the eyes being dilated and stuff that can be affected by a lot of things that could be. I think that's more of a rumor, to be honest with you. That could be affected by drugs. That could be affected by alcohol. You okay. could never know. Good, good. Listen, that's good information to have because a lot of guys do believe that, you know, whether the pupils are dilated or not determines whether or not she's interested. But what determines whether or not the pupils are dilated or not is the amount of light in the room. Like right now, my pupils are not dilated because I have one, two, three, I've got four lights on me. But if I were to turn off all my lights, my pupils would go way out to let more light in so that I could see. So good question by Merciless Six because I think a lot of guys, I think a lot of guys probably probably think this and they, they probably missed out on, you know, some potential lays because they've sort of been misinformed in that regard. So, um, so yeah, that's a very good question. Very good answer. Um, here's another question. Uh, Sasha Baz says, would you say that if they are dancing in front of me, does that mean she's comfortable? I think I'm missing obvious signs. What are your thoughts on that? Again, that's, that's a real, real vague question. I mean, if she in a nightclub, right. is everybody dancing, right. you know, is she intentionally moving over to dance in front of you? Again, a lot of these things can be eliminated by just walking up and approaching her, to be honest. Instead of sitting there and microanalyzing, this is going back to our original statement, how masculine men approach, feminine men sit by and wait, and they look like a wallflower. If this is the situation at hand, if it was up to me, I would just go up and start dancing with her. And if she's not down, she'll push you away, she'll dance away. And if she is, she'll continue to dance with you. And, you know, you start making out with her, then you take her home. No, listen, I totally agree. I totally agree. Uh, hey, man, wants to know what time of day 
will the webinars be held? I live in New York City and work the night shift. Okay. So the webinars are twice a day. Okay. They are at 10, 15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 12 p.m. And then at nighttime, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you miss them, okay, you can watch the replay because they're all recorded. They're recorded, they're Ooh. edited, and you can catch the replay no problem. In addition to that, okay, you can also go and check out, if you go to like modernlifedating.com, after you sign up, you can go to the webinar login page. And if you take a look at my screen right here, you yeah. can see this uh, has the webinar login database. You only get a private code after you get into Body Language Mastery. But for example, if I click here on uh, quarter four webinars, you can see the, this is the database for all the webinars we did previously. We have 38 webinars. The last one was two and a half hours, two hours, two and a half hours, two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours, one hour and a half, uh, one hour or one hour, 56 minutes, basically two hours, hour and a half, hour and a half, hour and a half, hour and a half, two hours. You can say, look, you have access to this entire database and then you also get access to this entire database here, okay, which is 36 webinars. And then you also get access to this database as well. So all this time that you're locked down, not able to leave the house, you can binge on this Good. instead of red instead of nin instead of Netflix. You can binge on red pill content that's going to make your life way better. Yeah, not Netflix and chill. Red pill. The more red pill and chill that you have, the more Netflix and chill you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to pull off. Um, okay, so let's uh, da, 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 da. Flavio Silvia or Silva wants to know would you still be able to ask questions? Yeah, that's what the webinars are for. I assume that's what he's assuming. Yep, before and after. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Very very good. All right. Well, let us move to the last and final video. This is leading and pacing. This is a very very good video and a lot of guys, a lot of guys MLD, they don't realize that their woman or women are losing attraction to them if they allow her to do this. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Let me turn the volume down here. All right, here we go. Leading and pacing. Take a look at Arisa here walking ahead of Jacob. This is absolutely atrocious female body language behavior. A woman who is walking ahead of you like this quite honestly doesn't respect you she is self-centered in this moment and she is on her own agenda she is not interested in following your lead or anything along those lines quite honestly this behavior really disgusts me now this is the good body language when she is slightly behind you that is a great indicator because she is walking behind you she's happy and subconsciously she's following your lead now you should never ever walk behind a woman or let her drag Hell. you by your hand and as she leads you around it's just not a good tone to be set for the initial seduction and the future relationship if it were to occur as always men we must lead and as you walk you must lead this right here with her leading is absolute cancer do not allow it to happen whatsoever in your relationships whether it be dating casual dates whatnot you always want to be leading as a man and she has to be on your terms and your terms alone keep that in mind that chick has dude that chick even has a sexy walk jesus christ okay so leading and pacing uh elaborate on that well look now more than ever, I do a lot of these breakdowns on my channel, similar to your great breakdowns, where I just watch this show called Jubilee, and you just see these modern young guys, how, listen, the pussification and betafication of a, the American male has succeeded. They pulled off their agenda. The, the average American male is a complete passive wimp. And... They, the reason is this. The, re the reason why women are so out of control in America is because they are revolting because they want a real man. 
They want a powerful man. That's why on your love is as blind breakdown, you have all these women that are in their thirties, like still willing to marry a complete stranger because their eggs are all dried up from riding the cock carousel <laughs> from for for literally a decade of sucking dicks. And now they finally like they're like fuck it, I'll just get. I'm desperate. I'll, I'll blindly marry some okay. guy on a TV yeah. show right. that Definitely. I know it won't yeah. work out. Right. Right. If if here's the thing. Here's the bottom line. Okay. If you're not dominant in your relationship with a woman, two things are going to happen. One, she's going to hate you. And two, if she has the opportunity to cheat on you with a dominant man, she will. And three, bonus round, if she can leave you for the dominant man, she will. Okay? That's the end of the story. Women want a dominant man. Women yep. want a man to lead them around. This is why women who are super famous and super rich and all this shit, they still vie to get married and have a husband. That's right. Why? Because it's in nature. It's what they want. And if you can give that to them, the greatest X factor is women's desire for a real man. If you could be a real man who understands what they want, a woman will overlook if you're a little too fat, if you're yep. a little too short, if right. you're a little too broke, even if you're fucking bald, whatever excuse you have, Indian, all the excuses you guys have in, the, in, the, in your world, right? If you can be the man that she wants you to be, not like, I'm a man, I'll fucking marry this single mom. Not like that. Like, I'm talking about the fucking man. Like, the, the alpha male, the dominant man that they want and they feel, so, like they feel secure and happy with. That is the kind of girl that you can get. I mean, you can, that's the kind of man that every girl wants. And these girls, like I said, I'm texting a 22-year-old girl right now who's living with her boyfriend telling me how much she yep. hates him and how much of a pussy he is. Okay, they are starving They're for starving. a real man these days. Uh, Michael Brandon asks, this is a good question. I have a really good answer because I've, I've actually done this before. So what do you do if she walks in front of you? If and if a woman is walking and it now here's the thing. If you've been with a girl for a month, six months and she's walking in front of you, there's really nothing you can do. If she's walking in front of you and you've been with her for a while, she absolutely does not respect you. If you want to change that behavior, you can you can do what I'm about to tell you, but you need to do this in the beginning. If a woman ever walks in front of you, peel off and go in another direction. If you guys are walking into a restaurant and she's walking in front of you, you turn back and go to the car. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. Don't tell her you're going back to the car. No, just peel back and go back, go back to the car and pretend that you lost something, right? Now she's gonna be walking. She'd be like, "Where the hell? Where the hell did he go?" Right? If and when she walks in front of you, every single time, without exception, peel off and go and, and go another direction. You are the leader. She needs to follow you. If she is trying to lead, if she's walking in front of you, in your mind, that must mean that she's going to another destination because clearly she's not leading me. Right? If a woman is walking in front of you, then your destination is not the same. So if she's walking in front of you, you peel off and go another direction, go back to the car. Do not follow a woman. Do not, under any circumstances, ever, ever follow a woman. MLD, what are your thoughts? Uh, I mean, for me, quite honestly, if she's going to walk ahead of me, I just reach ahead and I, I lightly grab her by the wrist and I just pull her behind me and I make her walk behind me. I'm like, I'm like, walk here. You have to. Like, there's no need to. There's no need to rush. Where are you going? You know what I mean? And. Girls will these days. Girls will be like taken aback and be like, oh, "Who the fuck is this guy?" Like, this, no, no man has ever corrected me. No man has ever put me in my place, and right. she's gonna feel this new rush of emotions that they don't feel, and she's gonna be like, gonna go out with after after the date. She's gonna go tell all her girlfriends, "Oh my god, I was on a date with this guy, and I was walking ahead of him, and he grabbed me by my wrist, and he told me to walk behind him, and he said he didn't like when I walked in front of him, and all her girlfriends would be like, "Oh my god, where the fuck did you meet this guy?" Like, what's he like? How tall is he? Was, was he good in bed? Did you have sex with him? You know, that's that's all. That, that's like how girl world works. Women want a dominant man. Like, everything the mainstream media tells you that women don't want, women want. Absolutely. Women want women, women want a possessive man, yes, okay? They, they want a possessive man. My girlfriend tells me all the time, she's like, I love how possessive you are. She's like, I feel safe. She's like, I wouldn't yep. trust you if you if you like, if you like weren't a little bit jealous. And jealousy is a mate guarding tactic. It's a completely normal thing. Right. I don't. And, and and I don't trust my girl. Like, I I don't trust her. Cause, uh, I mean, do I, do I love her? Mm, yeah. But like, do I trust her? Hell no. 
<laughs> people hit me all the time, dude. Um, Devin's gonna cheat on you. Uh, you know, you should, uh, dude. Uh, I don't trust Devin as far as I can throw that bitch. I'm telling y'all right fucking now. You don't have to trust a woman to love a woman. I listen. I am. I am absolute. I am absolute living proof. And if any girl is offended about the fact that you don't trust them, then they're looking for room to cheat. I don't want to get too far into the weeds on that, but yes, mm -hmm. I totally agree with that. Um, the elusive. Very good question. How long is the how long is enrollment open for? Want to make sure there's enough time to get that Trump money? Hell yeah. It is closing on March 30th, Monday at midnight. And okay. then after that, the price is going up and a quarter to it's going to be, I don't know, it's going to be down the road. I'm just worried about getting people in now. So the price will go up. It will be more expensive than it is now. And you'll lose you're going to lose time and money if you don't sound if you don't sign up now. That's just the bottom line. And you could sign up with credit card, debit card. You have Bitcoin. I'll take Bitcoin. I'll make an exception for that. But what's most important is I want men that are ready and willing to show up on April 1st when the webinars kick off so I can help you guys out. And this is a global community. You're going to enter a, a global network of red-pilled men. You're going to enter the chat and be like, holy God, I didn't know that there were so many men like me around the world. Because the reality is there is not a lot of men like you, but we all congregate in this area. And now let me tell you what's happening within this group. We have cryptocurrency groups that are forming. We have real estate groups that are forming. Okay. We have digital marketing teams that are forming. We are creating an army of red pill guys that are getting the big three money, muscles, and game. And let me tell you something. All my guys, the majority of them, pussy is no longer a thing. I've taught them. Nope. I figured it out. Pussy, they figured it out. They're like, this is it? This women is just gay women. Is that easy? And I'm like, yeah, that's it. And they're like, oh my God, I've been pedestalizing this my whole life. And I've got guys in there from age 18 to age 63. It is a wow. wide variety. Man. Wow. That's unbelievable. 18 to 63. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Jesus fucking Christ, man. That's fucking crazy. 18 to 63. That's a wide range, man. Yep. Um, Merciless Six with the five dollars super chat says, "Dude, I've now noticed I never really see women in their thirties pushing forty. Give these body languages you've shown only early twenties. Is it just me? No, no, no. Women in there, and and you guys are going to see on my Love Is Blind breakdown. You guys are going to see. Uh, I would say within the next two or three episodes, you're going to see a lot of these body language cues with these women in these videos. So I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe you just had a run of bad luck. Mm -hmm. I guess it's, that it's him. Luck. Well, okay. Yeah. Well that, that too. And a lot of women who are in there, well, no, it's gotta be, I mean, it's gotta be him. Yeah, I, well, a, I don't think he's studied the course in full. I think he's just probably, he, I don't think he's enrolled. Cause I would know based off of his photo, I would remember him. And then B, if you're just going to passively like, you know, look like, you know, look, look at body language for like two seconds, like, oh, OK, well, I'm going to pick it up today. And then like, oh, I'm not going to study it tomorrow. Uh, you're not going to really you're not going to get anywhere half assing in life. OK, the reality is this women. 10, you know, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. If they like you, they're going to give off this positive body language. They're going to look at your lips. They're going to do the phallic gesture. They're going to hug you in a sexual way. I've banged girls from age 18 to up to like 55, okay? I've banged the whole, the whole spectrum. And and the body language is the same. It's all the same. We're all humans. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, Asian, Latino. It doesn't matter. A woman is a woman and a human is a human. I agree. Um, I, I don't think he was, I don't think he was, you know, more or less trying to, I don't know, figure out a, uh, figure out a shortcut. I think maybe he probably just missed it. Right. Mm. And it like, and, and that's what it comes down to is the reason why he thinks that it's just the younger girls in their twenties that are doing it is because like most red blooded men, he's only looking at girls in their twenties. Right. Mm -hmm. Like it's, I mean, listen, it stands to reason that the reason why he's missing body language cues from girls in their women in their thirties, pushing 40 is because he ain't looking at them, which is not a bad thing. That's, yep. that's, uh, that's for damn sure. Um, Flavio Silva says, uh, like Donovan always says, women are just a commodity. If you have cool, if not, doesn't matter. Just focus on yourself. Uh, totally, uh, totally agree with that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Um, I'm going to go down and eat me a, a power salad. Um, guys, get your hands on this course. MLD, uh, any final words here? 
No, that's it. Thanks for having me on. Guys, check out my website. Click the link in the description box below. Use Donovan's link. If you like Donovan Sharp's channel, uh, click on the link. It's in the description box. It's in the chat, and you'll be able to support him and his content. And that's it. We're starting the coaching on Tuesday. Get in there. You make the best of this time. You're literally getting free time and free money from the government. What do you like? What you do now is going to let you know what kind of man you really are. Are you going to invest in yourself? Or are you just going to squander this and keep jerking off, keep being a loser, keep being poor? I mean, that's really the bottom line. And if you make the decision, you make the decision. You know the right decision, so make it today. Excellent. Uh, guys, I will be broadcasting at 4 o'clock this afternoon, 4 o'clock Eastern. That's going to be 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. I'm going to continue my breakdowns. I'm, I'm going to make a few changes with regards to how I deliver it. Maybe YouTube doesn't clip my, you know, doesn't suspend the stream. That's okay. If they do, it'll be live on Sharpstream as well. So you guys be sure to get over to, uh, uh, be, uh, be sure to get over to uh, sharpstream.com or YouTube. I'll be on at four o'clock Eastern time today. Thanks for making time for us, MLD, and we'll see you guys next time.